Okay, let's talk Modeler. This one is called Low End Modeler by Native Instruments. It is located inside of Contact Player. So, check it out. It's really cool. For those textures, extra ambience in your music. Certainly. So there's four different sections here. And if we go from left to right at the top right section of this plugin, we have the main. We are looking at the main view. Oh, by the way, this is the animation here, the graphic. And just by looking at it, it can be a little bit busy or dizzy, dizzy on the eyes. You can turn it off if you get tired of just looking at that, just glitching back and forth. All right. So we have main mixer, the edit section and the automate, which is where this step sequence lives. So, so just real quick. Say like I want to increase this. So we're looking at C zero to C three. This is the range. This is as far as you can go with this, or maybe this preset. So we come here to edit. So that's the robot. So we could turn it off if we want to. Change the attack, the decay, the sustain, the release. You know what I mean? That's channel three. This is channel two. Right? That's how you dive in and, and get the sound that you're looking for. The filter section provides, what is this, five different filters here. And you can certainly switch the different sound if you want. You can randomize it or you can just click in here and pick what you want. And there are several categories where like a million presets live. That's crazy. And then you can obviously just. A workflow like this is always dope instead of coming out of it and then go to the channel two and then back into here. Yeah, this is this is kind of cool how you can just toggle and just pick whatever. It's a, it's quicker to do that. All right. So if we're looking at the presets. We have some bass drums, just a million of those, some basses, leads, pads, sound effects, and scenes. I am interested in what the leads sound like. So let's go with this one. So it looks like we're staying within the range here at the bottom. You can use your model wheel to change the output, the, you know, the way this, this is kind of cool. That's dope. That's dope. And then here at the bottom, of course, you have these immediate effects, anime, filter, space, echo, drift, time. 
I want to say that these may change according to the preset. And then off to the side, the right side, we have low mid. We can choose to cut it or not. And here's your subsection. I don't know if you can tell much of a difference on this particular sound. You can hear a little bit here. Okay. Next. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. This low end deal is kind of cool. I just didn't expect it to sound as good. So this is my first take, by the way. So actually, I'm noticing the bottom area is not changing. So maybe that's just what it is down there. Moving along. And I'm guessing you probably could automate this where it's moving up and down. It's just the model, model wheel here on the keyboard. So I'm pretty sure you could do that. Um, if I click here, I'm noticing that I can save. So I, I guess I can save presets. Like if I have done something unique, I can save it. And this right here, I have not quite figured this out, but I noticed that once I click these, there's a vertical line that appears next to each effect. I'm not really sure what they do yet. Model wheel settings. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. So maybe I'm thinking like... I can turn it off. So, okay, now I get it. It's, it's like a custom. I can choose what I want the model wheel to control. So this is an on and off deal. Okay, on it off. That's what it is. I figured it out. Cool. Turn it back to ABC morphing. And then that's when I think we will see. Okay, cool. I like it. Yeah, this is dope. I can see myself using this. This is dope. Between the morphing, I, I feel like on each sound, you have to morph. You just have to because it's like it renders. If you're just going through these, you're going to miss it. You, you're certainly going to miss it if you do not morph. You, when you go through, make sure you... It's like it opens up and it closes... 
and it's like a different oh my gosh different that's dope that's dope i like that and then of course like i say you could turn any of these four channels off and you can you know give whatever you whatever amount that you want dope 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 Now I can kind of get why they call it low end because of where you will access in terms of range from C0 to C3. So there's only three ranges worth of playability. You know, it's only on the low end. So on a 25 key keyboard, I guess you good. You don't have to morph or change the the octave on your keyboard because this it's only in this range, as I can tell. Okay, so so those are pretty good. Let's see what do we have for like bass. Actually, you might have to go octave lower. That depends on where your keyboard starts at. That's definitely a automation worthy type vibe right there. Definitely, definitely. I'm not going to go through all of these presets. I just want to go through a few of them just to show you guys what was happening. I am really impressed with this plug. I think it's cool. We'll definitely will be visiting this plug on a live stream or I will probably make another video and showing you guys what I came up with with this particular plug in. But again, I just want to show you that tidbit. My name is Ella B. Culture, Lifestyle Governed by Art.